All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is disconnect the two VVT solenoids, which is, no, that's actually those two. These are the cam sensors up here. So let's squeeze our tab into the connector. Unplug it. Again, do not pull by the wires or you're going to be having your engine code. And then I'll take my hand and pick it up. Alright, let's get the other two disconnected and we'll be right back. Alright guys, just notice we got one more VVT solenoid back here. Now that one's very tricky to get to. Now if you can focus inside there... And what you're going to do is take a small screwdriver and a long flat screwdriver. This screwdriver is going to push in the tab. And if you're watching there, you'll see me open that tab. That you'll see, you'll see it come up. So that. And then while it's up, take sorry, take your other screwdriver and push back on it. Um, this, if the, if you, uh, oh, the camera is in my, I can't, I know if I'm moving, there it is. You saw it move up before I move that back? Yeah, I can see it. Alright, let me, oh, okay, good. Ow. Okay. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is remove, you, you, should, you should have ample room enough to move this harness anywhere you want. Next thing we're going to do is get you a marker and you're going to mark the coils. Yes, all coils are the same thing. But would you, you would like to you would try to like like to try to keep them in the same cylinder they came out just in case anything happened in the future. And also, guys, you know what? Before we even continue, let's grab us two rags and set right here for something fall down in there, and then it'll be all messed up. Okay, okay, one rag fits it. All right, so we're gonna take a marker and we're gonna start. This is the right side of the engine, so we're gonna go one, two, three. Then start from the top, four, five, six. So go and mark each coil. All right, let's mark those, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got them. Look at that pretty pink. We got them marked. Next thing you want to do is take your cordless ratchet with a shallow 10 millimeter socket, 3 8 drive, and then you're going to, each coil is held on by 10 millimeter bolts. So, you're going to take each of those out. Now, when it comes to this side, you can probably try to reach your ratchet and go around like that. Or, you can use a 4-inch extension. Now, you're not going to be able to use the 4-inch extension to the back ones because it's just going to... Well, I guess you can, but it'll be kind of like close up against there. But then you can use it on you. So, let's get all these out. And, in fact, matter of fact, let's do one. Let's do this one. So, you're going to take the... Take it out like that, twist the coil back and forth just to break the seal, and then pick it right up. And then what you're going to do is take the bolt and put it back in there by a couple threads. We're going to add to each one of them and then take the coils and put them in the party line. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, now we're ready to remove our valve covers. Now your valve cover is held on by a lot of bolts. This one, the right side, I believe is about around 11 bolts. This one has 15. I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know what the heck, man. They can be sure that thing don't leak. All right. So guys, this is this guys. This is this is why I tell you guys go to a Harbor Freight or something. Look online. Get a cheap 3 8 drive uh, cordless ratchet. Cause can you imagine sitting here with a ratchet <laughs> doing that many bolts? I would have finished this job before you got them valve covers off. <laughs> All right, so definitely get your cordless ratchet. And what you're going to use is a quarter inch, um, a four inch, three eighths drive extension, a shallow 10 millimeter socket, three eighths drive, and your extension. What this extension is, 
this is a wobble extension. So, which means by that is when I put the socket on, it wobbles. That's just in case I got a little problem of getting into an area. Now, these are the front, these are the easy ones. So, ain't, even me, ain't no use in me showing you those. It's the ones in the back that's difficult. What you're going to have to do, guys, is move, you got to move your harness around. And, like, okay, you got one bolt right here. So, bring your hand across. And then, until you feel. So, you got to do this pretty much by feel. Feel the bolt. Bring your ratchet down. Now, see, if you were doing this with a hand ratchet, you'd be here all day with just one bolt. And, guys, the thing was like. It was on sale $99, man. So spend it. All right, there's one bolt. Then you look at your other bolt. You f you go over there. You feel for that bolt. Now see, we got this line in the way. Now again, as I told you about these metal lines, you can move them. You can move them out the way a little bit. <coughs> so I feel the other bolt. It's right there. And because of my wobble, if you can look down there, you can see how my ratchet is pushed to the side. But yet, I'm on the bolt. That's why it's good to have a wobble extension down there. So go right there. Now what you want to do is, again, follow the next bolt. Go over, feel over. This is pretty much a feel. Do not expect to look at those bolts. Unless you're going to get a mirror. But other than that, feel for the bolts. Alright? Let's get all these bolts out. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, we got all the bolts. Now what we're going to do is take us a flat screwdriver and you're going to stick it between the cylinder head or right there is the timing cover and just work your way back and forth picking up on this valve cover. And you want to do that carefully just in case you happen to miss any bolts. So, and then when we get this off we're going to see Make sure we got the right, right amount of bolts counted. And I feel a little tension over here. I just want to make sure that I'm... Let's see if I can make sure I got all the bolts over here. And I got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Okay, so what the heck? I got all those bolts out, man. Make sure I got them all the way out. To all the threading. Tell you one thing, I see a bunch of cruddy oil up on there. Like this thing has not been either kept up or whoever, whatever they've been doing in the oil changes, it's cheap oil. And it's not something you want to see. Okay, what the heck is holding this thing? And for it to be that loose. It's got to be out. I need something bigger than this. Oh, 
Oh, that thing looked nasty up under there. All right. Am I missing a bolt somewhere? Cause it sure feels like it. No, forget that. Pull these. I'm gonna pull these out. Make sure it's not holding on by any thread or anything. Just pull these out completely. I figured get this one done. This is the most difficult one. All right. Now. What the heck? Wait a minute. Maybe it's gunked up and it's like stuck. Let me get all these out before I drop these bolts. Especially, I gotta make sure my rag is over this intake ports. I'm gonna take all these out because I don't want this thing dropping down in there. All these bolts for a valve cover. Let's find out what the heck is going on. I'm going to roll my hands all across. No, 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 no. It feels like something is back there. And I'm wondering, like, remember this one over here had a little clip holding onto the valve cover. I wonder if it's something back there, something very similar. Or it's just stuck. Just stuck. Just stuck. Alright, so let's look at this guys. Oh my goodness, man. Let's get this. Look at look at inside there. Holy cow, this thing is destroyed. I mean I'm pulling off pieces like this. Let's look at the bottom under this valve cover. This is what happens. The, the problem here is, guys, uh, the problem is that this is just either, uh, we don't know. We, it's either one or two things. One, the oil changes are severely neglected. Or number two, the places where they get the oil changer, they put in the cheapest stuff possible. And on another, on another note, I blame the manufacturers also because the manufacturers expect people to change their oil like 7,000 to 10,000 miles. You can't do that. I don't care what kind of oil you put in your car. You just can't do that. And this thing is gunked up. We, so we have an issue here. The issue here is this is all through the engine. Yes, we're going to fix the issue what's going on. But now we got to worry about what's in the oil pan. Now, you remember we did the, the uh, Equinox. The oil pan was easy to take down. And we, you know, cleaned it out. This one ain't that easy. Now we got a problem here. And I'm it's glad. It's a good thing we did the Equinox pan. Because yeah. there's metal pieces in Metal there. pieces all messed up down there. Part of a timing chain guide or something. It was all messed up. Look at this, guys, man. What do you... How do you... If people only knew... If 
they just only knew how important it was. And, and it sucks. I, I feel bad that some people get an oil change. I say, yeah, I get it done faithfully. And they take it one of these cheap places that pumps oil out of a 55-gallon barrel. <laughs> and they thinking they're getting good oil. They don't know. No. So we're in some trouble here. Because the reason why I'm in trouble, let's go over here, back over here to the engine. The reason why you're in trouble at this point is that's gunked up, man. This this is really gunked up. And the thing is, if this stuff if this stuff starts breaking apart, it's gonna go down into the engine and clog up again on and cause some more issues. I can't wait till we pull out them VVT solenoids to look how this sucks. Uh, I'm glad we're recording it. You guys, we're gonna send links to the customer of the video, the uh, customer, the owner, the owner. On the owner of the vehicle. Only easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, this sucks. All right, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Now we're gonna again. You can move your harness all around, out of your way and all. But now we're gonna be removing the bolts to the other valve cover. So you got your 10 millimeter shallow, four inch wobble extension. Let's go ahead, all around the cover, and also the uh, other cover we counted, there was 13 bolts. I can't, man, I'm just looking at this, man, and I'm like, look at this, guys. This is one of them, this is one of them times when you stick up that sign, do not disturb, because you disturb that, you in some key trouble. Man, that thing, even on the spark plug tube seals, that thing is like, like, like a fungus, man. What the heck? Holy cow, man. Well, that's getting replaced at least. What? Like Not these. I mean, yeah, but the seals on the valve cover. That look at the tubes. Oh, well, you said seals. Oh, don't be corrected me. But just what you said. Don't be corrected me. All right. You know, the, they, the guys don't like when you correct me or ask me questions. They do like that. They said, "Don't ask questions, Sylvia." Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll All stop right. asking questions. <laughs> ah, don't listen to Tim. Don't listen to Tim. Let's get let's get all these bolts out before I say something I'm gonna regret. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got all the bolts out. All right, let's get us a that's a smaller screwdriver. We need to straight to see. What we're gonna see up under this one. And here we go. Ugh. Now they can get a better look. You wanna come to the front of the engine? Yeah. I am at the front of the engine. Oh, the front of the car. That's <laughs> gonna be smart. It's so bad you can't even see the bolts. <laughs> that's some, that's some, that's some crud. <laughs> Holy cow, man! Let's take a look at it under this valve cover. Same thing. This is a shame. <sighs> Alright guys, we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is start working our way down. We're trying to get everything done from the top, so when we jack it up, we don't have that much to do. So the, here's your water pump right here. This is going to be your water pump pulley. Now what you're going to do, while the tension is still on it and all, take you a 10 millimeter wrench, and what you want to do is just loosen up those bolts because if you take the belt off and then try to do it the pulley is going to spin so in this way just loosen them up all right let's loosen up this one and this one we're going to use my hand right here all right and we'll be right back all right guys the next thing we're going to do is take the belt off now here's your belt tensioner right here and what i'm going to do here is 
you're going to need a half inch drive ratchet. Just a ratchet, no socket. I'm going to point right here in that section right there. That's where you're going to stick your ratchet in. And you're going to be putting the ratchet see, as you tighten it. Now, you're going to bring your ratchet in. Goes right. Good. Mm -hmm. Right into there. And right now, it's inside the slot. And just like I said, it's going to be like tightening. So as you tighten it, see how the belt loosens up. Now, you want to be careful. Like right now, I'm over on, I'm as far as over here. But when that tension releases, this ratchet is going to end up going down there, and my hands might get stuck. So what I want to do is try to come up further. Let's turn the ratchet. Over. Yeah, right about there. All right. So, and let's see. You can take it off the water pump. Let's see. Okay. Um, make sure I'm not in your way. Tighten it up to take the tension off, take the belt off of the water pump, and slowly release it back. And I got just I just got caught on the bolt right there. So I gotta push it up again. Take it off that bolt. Take it off there, and it's still kind of tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is over here on this side, it, you got the alternator. So what I'm gonna do is tighten it back up. Take it off the alternator and then slowly release it. Take my ratchet out of there. And remove the belt. Alright, let's get this belt out of here and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I just tried to take the belt out. You can't take the belt out because the belt's going around the tensioner right there. That's a stupid design, man. It's bad enough. As you can see, I got all the belt right there and it's going right around the tensioner. So what we're gonna have to do now. I can probably twist the belt and get it out of there. You can probably twist it and get it out, but I'm not gonna do that. We're not worried about it because we're gonna we gotta remove the tension anyway. And this looks like a 13 millimeter bolt. Let me get a socket and see. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got two 13 millimeter bolts. One right there, and one right down there. Just on the side of the way. So let me get my cordless ratchet, 13 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive, and of course, that is going to be too long. So, now this is where you get your 13 millimeter shallow, and you try, probably try to get a, a 1 inch extension, because that's too short. <laughs> that sucks. So what I'm going to do is, and being that my one inch extension is not over here, I'm going to use a 13 millimeter swivel because it's just long enough. Let's go in there and that one, and then this one over here, which looks like it's going to be a problem. Looks like the tent that. Idler pulley is in the way, but that's no problem. Okay, let's put that down now. So what we're gonna do now is get that idler pulley out of the way. And let's see what kind of bolt. We're gonna use a wrench on that. Okay, a 15 millimeter wrench. We'll get that pulley right out of the way. So let's get this. Wow, we ain't got much room to turn in here. There we go. All right, let's get that bolt out and that pulley out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, got the bolt. Huh? That kind of beat off right there. The thing hit the chat, hit the frame, and that bolt is not gonna come out. That's not that's not a problem, guys. You're gonna run into that problem. That it's not a problem because what we're gonna do is jack up the engine and get that bolt out. But I'm not worried about that right now. We're gonna leave that right there as long as it dropped enough so I can. Reach that 13 millimeter bolt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you? 
No, I can't. Yes, I can. Is that center bolt a bolt? Must be. Alright, so that's cool. So what I'm gonna do now is get my 13 millimeter shallow. And being that there's not too much room in there, I'm gonna get my regular 3 8 drive ratchet. That bolt. Oh, yeah. let's see now. Yep, there it is. All right, so let's get that bolt out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we almost got that bolt out. A couple more turns. Okay, and there's our tensioner. Let's get our bolts and put back in there. They both got these little sleeves in here to keep the bolts in place. Both bolts are the same length. So we don't have to worry about that. We're going to put that in the party line. But instead of us going on the break right now, now since we're down here, now these bolts are already loose. The four 10 millimeter bolts into the water pump. Well, I thought they were. What about the belt? Oh, yeah. There you go, Sivvy. There you go, Sivvy. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to switch over. I'm using my quarter inch drive ratchet with a 10 millimeter and then I'm gonna just go in there and now start taking out the four bolts and I'm gonna leave the bolts with the pulley and we're gonna put that in the party line as well all right so let's get all that done go over here and we'll be right back all right guys we're gonna take out our pan with the antifreeze in it and guys, guys you can tell this looks like uh, it looks like water man. we're gonna actually got it we gotta test it we're gonna test this antifreeze Cause this thing definitely looks like uh, maybe it was just original back in 2012. I have no idea. But we're going to set this under the car right toward the front of the engine. Because now what we're going to do is remove the water pump. Now the water pump is held on by five 10 millimeter bolts. And it's going to make it nice and easy if you get you a 3 8 drive 10 millimeter swivel socket. Things are great. And here's your water pump. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, and the other one is down there. We're going to get to the other one first. It's going to be right here. This is what I mean. See how easy that makes it? That corner's ratchet. All right, let's take that out. We're going to go around to this one. Now we're going to go around to this one. We're gonna do the three on the top. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, all bolts are the same length, so you don't have to worry about mixing mixing them up. I believe that is it. Now, to get that water pump off, let's try the old hammer trick. Sylvia told me five bolts, man. I... Don't make me see another what? bolt in here, Sylvia. Sylvia told me five bolts, man. There's six. 
So he told me five. And there's six guys. I, I love that. Dang it, man. Look, see, see what happens when you listen to people, guys? Just don't listen to people. Just do the job. Hey, Sivy. Let me talk to you. <laughs> All right. So we got one bolt way up under here. Dang, I just had where the bolt was. about a quarter inch drive ratchet. Mm. Was I boring you? Yeah. You should you should have told me how many bolts was in here. Alright guys, so I'm right about here. And here's that sixth mm. bolt. Well you should have known when the water pump didn't move. It did move. Starting to see the front of that engine. All right, so we're gonna take the bolts. Okay, put them, they see it. Put them, a hole in the, and some anything coming out. That's what you're supposed to see. All right, so we're gonna put this in the party line, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now for an important part. Now, this bolt down here we took out for the idler. That's also holding in the alternator. That's all right. You're cool. You're good with that. Now, up here on the top of the alternator, you got you got a bracket right here that's got the holding on to a, a clip for the cooling for the um, a line for the power steering pump going to the power steering reservoir. You have a 15 millimeter nut right there. There's a 15 millimeter nut right there, and there's one on the other side. Um, hold on. Well, it doesn't matter. There's a... Yeah, come on. You can see right there. Yeah, I'll put my thumb. Oh, all the way in the wrong spot. Right. Well, the first one I saw, but I don't know oh. where I am. Hold on. This one's... Looks... One right here. Let me do my wrench. Yeah, I got that one. And then right back here. That's the one I'm having a hard time with. Okay, I got part of it. All right. Now we gotta we're gonna we gotta take this 15 millimeter nut off. Then this stud that's going all the way through here, we have to take that stud out because that stud is actually going into the timing cover, and you will not be able to get that timing cover off with that there. So you got a 15 millimeter wrench, and go ahead and go ahead and take that nut right off. All right, so let's get that off, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got this nut almost off, and this is going to be good because it also gets that bracket out of the way that's holding on that holes. Well, we got that blocked off, so we can just lean that to the side anywhere. Now we got the stud right there. Now we got we're not gonna we're gonna have to loosen up this nut because we need that alternator to go back a little bit. We don't need it to be tight, but we're not gonna do that yet. What we're gonna do is take this stud out right here. So let's get us a socket, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now what you want to do now is take your quarter-inch drive ratchet with a seven-millimeter uh, shallow socket. And you want to go there and get that stud right out of there. All right, and once we get this stud out, we're not even worrying about the other one. Again, on the other one, let's, let's get this out first. 
we're just going to loosen up that 15 millimeter nut so that alternator gets away from that timing cover. Figures. Figures. So long study, man. Okay, got that. And let's get our 15 millimeter wrench. And then we're gonna go and just loosen up this one right here. Man, that thing look tight. Alright, let's get that loosened and we'll be right back. Alright guys, this should be loose enough and your alternator will be away from that timing cover. That is good. Alright. It is, guys, this thing is looking great. This is looking really great. Right, Sivy? Yep. Sivy said, I don't know. Yep. All right, <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is remove our cam sensors. And we're going to have four. So you start from over here. You're going to have There's one. four cam sensors? Yep, for each, one for each cam. One, two, and over here, three, and four. Now they're held on by 10 millimeter bolts. So I got a 10 millimeter shallow quarter inch drive with my quarter inch drive ratchet. And what we're gonna do is, let's get this one right here. And each of them can be got with this ratchet. We're gonna get this one for the easy for you to view. You wanna have your marker as well. Now the camshaft sensors are probably all the same, but you, you wanna put them back to where you got them. So we take this one out. Then, you want to twist it back and forth, and you're going to feel it like pop, like break the seal. And now you want to twist it, and at the same time, pull outward. Just like that. Now, this is number two. So, what I'm going to do is take my marker, and I'm going to put two dots on that. So, starting from the over here, one, two, three, four. So, I'm going to take this. I'm not going to put the bolt back in there. I'm gonna put it back in the cam sensor, and then we're gonna take we're gonna take all four out. Then we're gonna put them on the party line. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we got all those out. This is looking good, guys. This is looking really good, coming along really good. The next thing we're gonna do is remove our four VVT solenoids. You have two over here and two right over here. You're gonna use now. All these solenoids are the same. So now this one we're not gonna mark. We don't care because we're replacing all four. So, you're going to use your same 10 millimeter shallow uh, quarter inch drive, the quarter inch drive ratchet. Take the 10 millimeter bolt out. And let's see how, I want to see how these look, man. <laughs> Alright, twist it back and forth. Break the seal, and then bring them out. Yeah, I guess this is cruddy, but it ain't that it ain't that bad. I, I figured it's gonna be well we didn't Where's take a screen? it's actually right there. It's just so that's how nice it but this is a pretty clean. Uh, that's the screen on each three of them. But when we only took out one so <laughs> alright let's put this up let's go down get the other one and this one is very close to the frame, but it will come out. Let's take the nut off, bolt off. Okay. Twist it. You see, and it's going to feel kind of tight. But just go ahead and twist it, and then remove it. That one's got some cruddy well in it. That stuff, this stuff couldn't have been working, man. Alright, so we got those two. Let's get these two over here. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, look at this. The last one we took out. Look at that stuff caked up on there, man.
Well, that one don't look that healthy either. Oh my god, I'm afraid of that. Burnt, right? I'm afraid of like them, like metal particles right there, like they're trying to shine. Oh, let's see if I can get this shiny. It's a little bit that way. There you go. Yeah. So I hope that's not an indication of anything. All right, let's put these to the side and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do, again, we're trying to get everything done at the top. So before we get to the bottom. Now, we got a series of bolts right here. Seven bolts into the timing cover. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven. What about the one over there? Where? Over here in the corner. Over here? Yeah. Uh, I'm not worried about that one yet. We're going oh. in the center we worry about. Right I here. see. Okay. You interrupted me. Alright. So, we're going to be using a... You know what? No, don't use this one. Don't use this one. Use a shallow, guys. Get you a shallow 13 millimeter. Where the heck is my shallow 13 millimeter? Shallow 13 millimeter, 3 8 drive. And what we're going to do is we're not going to take these bolts out. Just going to switch. Switch, got to break it loose. And then we're going to put them just like that. Just leave them just like that. All right, so let's get these seven and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now. This part is very important. We're going to look at uh, these three right here. Whoops. Got the little rubber things on. One. Two. Hey, this one looks like it's supposed to have another grommet in there. We're not really worried about that, but just know what's in there. Three. Okay, these top three oh, bolts, yeah. all of them are the same length. So now, let's work our way down now. Same length. Same length. And it looks like that little plastic piece in there, it might stay in there, but it's all good. We'll do that later. Okay. Five, six, seven. So all center bolts in there are the same, same length. All right, let's put these to the party line, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, next thing you do, grab your 10 millimeter. That you're going to be loving this thing. Uh, quarter inch drive, quarter inch drive ratchet. And right back there, you'll see a bracket that's holding on to looks like the, the transmission. But don't think of that holding on to it. To the AC line. It's held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. Let me put my. You can see that in there? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get that bolt off of there. And actually, we're gonna take that out and put that bolt right back in. Alright? We'll right back. Alright, guys, now we got two 13 millimeter bolts on the top of our covers. And I'm gonna show you what this bolt is. I got a 13 millimeter deep. If you see on the socket, it does say 13, so I'm not, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get, let's get this away. All right, so the bolt is going to be right there. So, I'm going to have my 13 millimeter, rat, I mean, my 3 inch drive ratchet. Oh, and that bracket that I took off there, that's going to the that power steering pump. Reservoir. All right, that's one bolt you're gonna take out, and then right over across to the other side of the cover, right there, you're gonna have another one. So let's take those two bolts out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the bolt out. Both bolts are the same length. Now let's go match these up with the other bolts to see if they're the same length. So let's walk over here, and at the same time, you guys get to see. Party line. All right, so here's the bolts we took out. 
the seven. Yep, same size. Same same length. Look at this, guys. Our party length. As we took off parts, we lined them up. Go ahead, Sippy. You can walk around the line, Sippy. You can do. I let you walk around the line. Look at that, guys. All the way back to the first part we took off. That's what organization is all about. Yeah, boy. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Now we're going to remove three bolts. We got one 13 millimeter that's right above the power steering pump pulley. I don't know if you can see that bolt. Yep. All right. So I'm going to reach down here and get my 13 millimeter shallow socket. I'm going to put it onto the bolt. Then I'm going to get my 3 8 drive ratchet. And get that bolt out of there. Now, once I, as you notice, my ratchet is like really close to the frame. So that's all I'm doing. Dang it. Loose. I'm gonna try my 13 millimeter quarter inch drive. See if I can get in there because that'll give me a lot more room. Okay, great. Let me get that. Now, if you're at the bottom, like I, if I was at the bottom, I can get to that bolt a lot easier with a swivel socket. I'm trying to get as much as possible done as, done as possible while we're up here. So let's get that bolt out and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I think I got this bolt almost out. Okay. Hey, that's rusty. It looks the same length as the other one. That's cool. Why is that rusty? That's me for sticky. Alright guys, then I'm going to take my same 13 millimeter. I'm hooking it up to my cordless impact. And then we have a 13 millimeter bolt right here. You have to get it on the bolt first. I had to make sure I'm tightening it. I'm going loose. Let me start one. Okay, got to break this loose first. Okay, and as I'm taking it out, my ratchet's getting close to the frame, so I'm going at a little angle here, because I don't want it to get stuck. Alright, that one, that one is longer than the rest, so we got to remember, that one goes right here, is longer. Oh yeah, we might. They better remember. I ain't remembering. Alright guys, then we got one big bolt right here. And that looks like it's an 18mm. Okay. Yep, 18mm shallow socket. I'm gonna use my cordless ratchet, wherever it may be. Oh, I'll put it right here. Get that out. All right, remember, guys, the bolt right there is longer than the other ones. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we got three bolts over on this side of the cover 13 millimeter bolts one, two, and then there's one further down. I ain't got that one down. But what we're going to do, guys, you know, make this easier because this pulley and all goes into the oil chain. Our oil chain is loose. Let's make this easy for ourselves, and 
that 15 millimeter nut over here. That's that's the last thing that's holding the alternator. We're going to take that nut off. Can you see it? Let the alternator go and put that bracket out of the way. I'm going to just slide back more. I was going to let it just try to just completely go off of there, but it looks like it don't want to do that. But that's good enough. Get that away from there even more. All right, now we can see them bolts. A little bit better. And actually, you know what? We're just gonna let them look right there. Just those two. Right there. Just to the side. And I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter shallow with my cordless impact, cordless ratchet. There. Figures. And we got one right there. Let's see if this one right here. That's why I'm not really worried about it. If we if we have to use a regular ratchet, I'll just use a regular ratchet. So then I have the clearance. both of those bolts out and we'll be right back all right guys we got those two bolts out those two bolts are the same length as the other bolts so we just got that one bolt that's longer than the rest everything on the top is now or should be now disconnected we have completely done with the top now we're going to go to the bottom which should be really easy because all these are done so we just got to worry about the top so now what you're going to do is jack up the passenger side of the vehicle put a jack stand under the frame <laughs> and leave the hydraulic jack right there all right so let's get that set up and then we're gonna get ready to take off the tire all right we'll be right back all right guys we got the passenger side jacked up as you can see very important guys have your jack stand up under there and have your nice jack stand like what we got is up here right now also you want to make sure that you have a nice solid base your jack stand is useless if it doesn't have a good base and we're on concrete that's good if you're not on concrete definitely use a 2 by 12 something big solid not no particle board use some nice solid wood all right the tire is going to be held on by 622 22 millimeter lug nuts usually it's 3 quarter 19 millimeter 13 16 or 21 these are 22 I'm using a 22 uh, millimeter half inch drive with some cheesy cheap gun that I, I've got from I forgot where but this thing is it's it's the cheesiest thing that I it's and it's a half inch. Look how little that thing is, man. And I'm gonna see if it takes off from TV. It took it off, but man, that this is a cheese. I ain't even gonna tell you where I got it from. It's so cheap. <laughs> I mean it's worse than eBay. But you know, I tried to be cheap and I get was something. I was about to say, did you get that from eBay? <laughs> yeah, worse than eBay. Man, this is what and this is what we're talking about, parts. Don't go to eBay and get no parts for this. You go ahead and get a timing chain kit and all this for this this car. You just, I, you just, I don't know, I don't know what to say about you. Um, it's too big of a job to be um, depending on some cheap parts. All right, so it's gonna take me about an hour to get it off with this gun. So <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got them off. Let's get our tire off. Oh my goodness! Well, you can't see what I'm seeing now, but oh my goodness. There's a, there's a bunch of oil. This thing got a big oil leak, man. Oh. Ah, we gotta look at that. Alright, let's get this to the side. What we're gonna do is take our... You know, I should I should just take a strut and everything out. So we get some good views of this. But no, I ain't gonna do that. I have Sylvia yell at me. Put these lugs on here to keep them in place. And put the tire on the side. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this front part of the inner fender well. 
is held on by a series of clips that looks like this and three um, uh, T20 Torx screws. You know what, let's get our Torx screws out of the way first. Right here on the fender, inside here, you see one right here. Okay, okay you're going to have one right here. Then, go over here, up under the vehicle, You're gonna have one right here. Where are you? Go up under, up under here. Okay. And follow around. And you're gonna have one right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get those three out and we'll be right back. All right guys, now we're gonna start from the two clips at the bottom. Move this flap out the way. Take your flat screwdriver, stick it right between there just to pry that out just a little bit. Oh, that one came out nice. That one came... And then, let's see if we can, no, I can't turn this one. Can't work it, work it. That's all you have to do is get it out just enough. And then you can take some wire cutters. Don't squeeze it, but just squeeze just enough to get up under there and pop that center part right out. And sometimes the whole clip will come out. Then you can pop that piece out right there. Now that I showed you how to do it and we got these two done, let's come up here. And what you're going to be doing now is you got two more right here. Then go further up. You're going to have one right here and one right here. We got more, but let's get those four out first. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, on the four of them, we got the center part of it out, and now that's all we have to do is just pop that out, go around. This one up here, and this one right here. Make sure we don't lose those. Put them in the the spot now we're not done yet even though our cover is almost ready to come out now we got up here we got one this one is going into both covers but we got to take that one out so let's get our screwdriver pop that out pop that out let's see if it's enough to get us out of here move this whole cover going to do, this is not going to go into the party line because it's kind of big. But what we are going to do is take all our screws and clips, put it in the corner, and cause see, as you can see, our party line right now is almost up to where we are. <laughs> and we're trying to stop that. So we're just going to put this all to the side back here in the corner somewhere, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, look at this, man. Look at all this oil over here. <sighs> I'm going to see if I can see where it's coming from, but uh, I don't know if that's coming from the power steering pump or is that motor oil. Now, guys, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm getting on a mat, and I'm laying I'm looking up under there. Guys, you have to make sure you have a nice solid jack stand and leave your hydraulic jack up under there. And um, a good little tip is take when well, you got the tie off, stick your tire up under there. Everything you just some bricks. Use the neighbors. <laughs> use the neighbors' kids. <laughs> ah, send me ah. <laughs> All right, let me look at the lights so I can see where this oil is coming from, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is drop our power steering pump because our power steering pump is in front of some bolts on the cover. You're going to have two bolts on this. Now, this part is very important. You got one bolt right there that we're not going to worry about yet. All right, so let's back up. Now, for this next step, what you're going to need is a two foot 3 8 drive extension and a 15 millimeter 3 8 drive swivel 
socket. All right. Now what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show. We're gonna go up under the vehicle because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get to it. And um, then I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is take the camera. Then we're gonna come back out here and try to show you. So first of all, let me get this situated. All right. Now. All right. Now you can see where my mat is. And I'm going up under the vehicle like this. Okay, and pass my camera. All right, now we're coming around, going around, and we're looking up. Let me see, get this. Let me go up here. Now you're gonna see, let me see, right there is the 15 millimeter bolt now what i'm going to do is right here is the let me make sure I'm, the catalytic converter the o2 sensor you're going to your extension is going to go right between here so it's going to go between here over the frame And it's gonna go up. Try to get that on there first of all. And onto that bolt. Just like that. You see where it's coming through? Then you're gonna get your 3 h drive ratchet and take that out. So here you go. The camera. Um, okay guys, now when we come back, you're going to be looking at it from the angle from out here. So we'll be right back. 